how to count time. Now you've played a couple pieces, but in order to take the next Roughly, step, you're going to need well. to learn how to count time musically. Up to this point, all the music that you've played has been made up of notes of equal lengths, and these are called quarter notes. Okay. But to read music of different durations, we'll need to learn about time signatures. Time signatures tell us how many beats there are in a measure. From now on, you'll notice that each piece of music you play will have two numbers located at the beginning. These numbers indicate the time signature of that piece, and they'll tell us how to count time for that particular piece. The number on top represents the number of beats in a measure. The bottom number indicates the type of note that gets one beat. For example, a four equals a quarter note. Four equals Check out quarter. the examples on the next page to see and hear different types of time signatures. Okay. Now that we know how many beats are in a measure, we can tell how long each note is to be played. The length a note is played is determined by what type of note it is. The first four notes we'll be learning are the quarter note, which okay. receives one count, the half note, which receives two counts, two counts the dotted right. half note, dotted which half receives note. three counts, three counts, and the whole note, which receives four counts. Four Check counts out the examples on the next screen to see and hear different types of notes. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a snapshot of this. And I'm going to take a snapshot of my other notes, musical notes, so I can practice offline. So I'm going to <clears throat> save this as quarter, half, dotted, and whole. How to play guitar. Quarter, half, dotted, and whole notes. All right, that's pretty well. That's good. Moving on. 